Hey everybody, Marcus here from nextlevelrecording.com and thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to save a mixing template to speed up your workflow. Now if you don't know what a mixing template is, it's basically a session that you create with all of your routing complete so you don't have to do it every single time you have a new recording or a mixing session. Now I'm not gonna go into detail on how I set up my sessions because I've already made that video and you should totally check that out. Cool. So as you can see, my session is set up and everything is routed to where it needs to go. And I also have some plugins that I use already on the track. So my reverbs and on my two mix, I have an EQ and a compressor. Now that everything is ready to go, I can save this session as a template. To do that, we're gonna go to File, Save as Template, and the Save Session Template window is gonna come up. And here, you can select the category that you wanna save it in, so when you open up Pro Tools, you can select the category uh, of where your template is. Now there's a bunch of them. There's guitar, miscellaneous, music. I like keeping this in Record plus Mix because I use this to record and mix. Uh, so go ahead and select that, and then name it whatever you want. I named mine MST for Master Mixing Template, and it's just easy for me to read. Now, I've already created this, so I don't need to click OK, but if you're creating it for the first time, click OK. Uh, I'm going to click Cancel. Now, if you're opening a new session from a previously open session like I am right now, we're going to click Command-N, and that's going to bring up the dashboard. Uh, as you can see... Uh, there's this little checkbox that says create from template. If you want to select a template, you need to make sure that that is selected. If not, then these are all grayed out. So I'm going to select that, and then my mixing template is at the bottom. Uh, whatever you name yours, go ahead and click it, and then uh, you can change the bit depth and sample rate that you want to record at. I like doing 24-bit, 48K, and then click create, and your session will open. I really recommend doing this because it speeds up your workflow. You don't have to sit there and create all your auxiliary tracks and your reverbs and your master fader and route everything to where it needs to go. It's already done. So the only things you'll have to route are any new audio tracks that you bring into the session. Uh, well, that's really it for this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to us on here and also follow us on Instagram at Next Level Recording. Uh, feel free to leave any comments. And until next time, I'll catch you all later.